For what purpose does the gentleman from California seek recognition? I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, one year ago tomorrow, the Supreme Court overturned a half a century of precedent by ending the nationwide guarantee that women be allowed to make choice, choices over their bodies. And since then, we have seen the devastating result. Numerous states enacting bans that deny a woman's ability to make decisions over her body, oftentimes without any exception. But in the face of this new wave of attacks on reproductive freedom, I have fought with many of my colleagues to preserve access to abortions and to restore a nationwide right to abortion access. House Democrats produced and passed legislation to ensure women can travel safely, freely to states in which abortion is still legal, have access to contraception, and cover abortions regardless of income or health status. And we will not stop there. We will continue to push for legislation that will once again allow women everywhere in America to be in charge of their own health decisions. I yield back. 